I already gave you one. Baby, it's cold <laughs> outside. I like when you sing. It is 45 degrees. It is freezing I'm outside. taking it all in. I actually have all the windows open. Last night, Rachel's like, can you turn on the Uller bed so it gets cold? And I'm like, no. I don't think we're going to need that. Get I don't think work. we're going to need Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. So it is Saturday morning. Saturday morning. We got a busy day. We're going to start off our day with some breakfast. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I finally get my cat full of food, you'll be alerted to it. Anybody want a cat? <laughs> he is so dissatisfied with my service. If I don't always have just an overflowing bowl of food, he comes, knocks on the door of wherever you're at, cries until you open it, and then Causes you to follow him back to the dish. So last night, yeah, we were laying in bed, we're watching a movie, and the cat starts like scratching on the door. Yeah. And it's not a, it's, he's not like hurting the door, but it's annoying. He knows he how knows. to annoy us. Yeah. And so he's just using his paw, and it won't stop. It'll go for hours. So Rachel's like, he wants in. I'm like, no, he doesn't. He wants to tell me he wants more food. So I go and I open up the door, and he literally sits at the foot of the door. I open up the door. And he looks at me and he goes, follow me. And then, <laughs> yeah. literally, as soon as he sees that I've looked at him, he turns around, he us. goes into the kitchen, jumps up on the counter, sits over his bowl and looks at me and goes, meow. And I'm like, there's food in there. He's like, that's not good enough. It's not topped up. like and It's over not high it. enough. Yeah. And then this morning, same thing. He's, it's like, he is like, hey, you're ignoring me. So it is cold outside. It, it's 45 degrees right now. I am planning on wearing like short sleeves today. I want to yeah, get it right. all in. <laughs> well, maybe we'll Because in a day it'll be like 90. Right. So you got to like soak it all in while you can get it. But probably when Jenny, our grandpuppy, gets here for um, sleepover, will probably like suit up because she'll want to go for lots of walks. Well, the thing, we were planning on taking them in the pool or maybe down to the beach. I don't think the but pool I don't is think good that's today. Gonna it's just a little too cold. It's too yeah. cold for me. So yeah. I certainly don't want them in there. <laughs> right. Um, but we do have a bunch of things going on. I'm going to mess with my drones. I finally got my drones going. Well, it wasn't the drone issue. It was, it was my controller, this thing here. Uh, and what happened was every time I would turn it on, it would go beep, 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 and I couldn't figure it out. It's only and, slightly and, annoying. And I, Chris is like, I don't know, I think it needs to be repaired. It wasn't that. What it turned out to be was is that the sticks needed to be calibrated because the way this works is if you don't have the stick all the way down when you turn it on, it'll start beeping, warning. You can't arm your drone because if you arm it, it's going to immediately take off. So it, it's, a, it's a safety Safety's? measure to make sure like everything is down. But even though it was all the way down, it didn't know it was down because it, the calibration was off. So I got that fixed. So I plan on playing with the drum. And as soon as we're done eating, you're gonna get in the shower. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to Costco. We need to get a few things at Costco. And we gotta do all that before Jenny ends up, you know, showing up at the door. We were gonna yeah. go to the thrift store, but I don't think we're gonna have enough we'll time because we were gonna go all the way down to Miami for that. Yeah. So we're having a little bit of breakfast here. Yay! We got two eggs, perfectly cooked perfectly for me. Perfectly cooked for me. And perfectly cooked for you, not overcooked but not undercooked. Uh, two slices of bacon. We got a new electric Blackstone. I think we mentioned on the live stream the other day, I was cooking the other day. It worked great. I turned it off. I got to turn it back on and it wouldn't heat up anymore. And um, I was gonna go through the warranty because it does have a year warranty and then I remembered that Walmart's got a 90 day return policy yeah. and you can return it without the box so long as you have the receipt. So I called them up and they were like, absolutely. You can bring it back. I brought it back up 
and they took it back no problem. The only problem was that uh, they are now $140, whereas we paid $117. Yeah. And she said, I can't do an even exchange. Be and that, that and it's so fine. it was going to cost me $20 more, but I figured $20. Now or go through the hassle of the of, of the warranty and mailing and it it's back. It's my favorite cooking and device. We literally use the electric blackstone love it. every single Don't day. Don't go breaking my heart. I'll leave a link for one down below. So far as I know, you can still only get it at Walmart, and now they have a 22 inch version. So if you have more room in your kitchen, if you have like a big room, maybe I you don't have an is island. Just right though. The 22 inch version comes on a little roll around cart. So like if oh. you didn't have this, right, you could have a little roll around cart. That's nice. But honestly, since getting that, I don't think we ever use our stove top. We, mm -mm. I mean, rarely. I use it for you know what I use it for a chili because mm -hmm. I need to put my cast iron on that. But anything that goes in a frying pan goes on there. Easy to clean. You get more surface area. I mean, I know that like if you have a big family, if you're like the bears and you have six children, you can cook like a dozen eggs at one at, time. At on the it. same time. And honestly, I need the forgiveness that this much space makes. So when we make keto, non stick. When we make keto chow pancakes, I am not good at pancakes. And I will like chase a pancake around a pan. Oh, no. I love this. It makes me feel like I'm a professional chef. It I love it. So yeah, breakfast, two eggs. Couple slices of bacon. Of when we got when we got the electric blackstone, um, I immediately we were out of bacon. Let's cook up some bacon. Got to season it so up. So did a bunch of bacon, uh, one slice of bread, and since it's cold, we're doing a nice doctored up coffee. So we have the entire pot, one tablespoon of butter, one egg, and in the entire pot, a half a scoop of chocolate toffee keto. It chow. is so stinking good. I think that you need a really good tasting cup of coffee when it's cold outside. I think it consoles you, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I need the coffee to, to taste delicious today. So we came into Costco because we needed more of these Teton hot dogs. I call them hot dogs. They call them Polish sausages, but it's a hot dog to me. So we got some more of these. And while we were here, we found this, which is some gluten-free, no MSG chorizo made right here in America. Very excited about that. Really good ingredients. I love it. Um, and then we come across this, which is definitely marketed to us. But when we take a look at the ingredients on the back, there's actually organic cane sugar. They're not using any keto sweetener, just cane sugar. Yeah, I love when they put organic on the front of it. Like that makes it so much better. Like organic poison, right? And there's actually three added grams of sugar. Now, if you are looking for just like a sweet treat and you're here at Costco for $8.99, you can get this keto and paleo fudgy brownie baking mix. It's actually got pretty decent ingredients. It's $8.99 for three of them, which yeah. is a third of the price of most of the stuff you're gonna find online. Blanched almond flour, erythritol, cocoa powder, tapioca fiber, baking soda, salt, vanilla extract, and monk fruit extract. Much better option if you're looking for something sweet. Another thing that is so poorly labeled, please don't buy this kind of stuff, look at this. Snappers cashew coconut cluster, keto vegan, vegan friendly, three grams of sugar. Look at the ingredients. Dark chocolate, which is chocolate liqueur, sugar, inulin, and you have cocoa butter, sunflower less than almond butter filling, which is almonds, pea protein, palm oil, sunflower less than stevia, cashew, coconut, pumpkin seeds, sea salt. But the dark chocolate is made with sugar. So there's three grams of added sugars in here. So that's like five net carbs for each piece. I definitely would not buy this. High key has much better options. So we also ran into these. This is a keto nut granola and it actually has pretty clean ingredients. You can get these here and I think, did we see them at Sam's Club? Sam's Club has a birthday cake flavor. It's got like the little sprinkles in them so, and very clean ingredients. Nice option and it does say keto on it. Our Costco got the cauliflower bites back in stock. We love these and there's no junk ingredients in them. Uh, now they do use a little bit of sunflower oil, but I'm okay with it. They're using the high oleic, which means it's higher in uh, omega-3s, uh, a little bit better profile than the standard sunflower oil, but they get rid of these a lot. So even though we can't eat them right now, I'm gonna buy a bunch of bags because they're also on sale for $2 off. So we just found these, they're on sale for $10. So we're gonna grab these for a review. We can't review them right now, but we did do a past review of their cups 
and they were really good. So these are some keto bars and we're gonna see how we like them. So people ask us all the time, if I can only afford to get one membership to a big box store, which one should I choose? And if you're asking us about meat, I'm probably going to send you to Sam's Club because they have great meat prices. But if you're looking for keto snack type foods, I would say you wanna check out Costco because look, they're even starting to carry high key cookies, giant bag for only $12.99. They have lots of things like wisps and they have different flavors of the, um, the ones that can go in a kid's lunchbox. They have a lot of different blends of keto treats and there's always something new to check out. Now always read the back of the ingredient label, just like we saw earlier, there was some keto marked snacks that weren't really keto. So you gotta do your due diligence. But if you're looking for variety, Costco's where it's at. So here's another example, these keto crackers. We've actually done a review of them in the past. Too many carbs for my ability to snack. I'm gonna eat the entire bag of these, but they are really great ingredients. And I love the accessibility of being able to grab a bag at Costco. So this right here is my nemesis. And at $18 a bag, it's actually not a bad deal. I would absolutely get this, bring this home, and then Joe would eat the entire contents of this bag. So we're going to be safer rather than sorry and not bring this home today. But yeah, you can get a lots of nuts in bulk. So if you're like me and you have a nut issue and by nut issue, I don't mean an allergic reaction to nuts. I mean, you can't stop eating nuts when you start eating nuts. Then I think this is a great option. It's the individually bagged nut snacks and there's all different kinds of them here at Costco. Um, I know you're going to pay a little bit more of a premium price. This is 18 of these bags for $10, but it's not too much money in my opinion. And I think it's going to help you be more successful. Jenny is here. here. She's so excited. When she got here, the dogs, they just were running around for hours. They're so. having such a big time. And I put blankets in the dryer so we can have nice toasty blankets. Because it's cold out. Look at it your jacket. Cold. And, we, and we've got like every toy in the world out. So I'm actually going to take Miss Ginny on an extra walk because Tabitha wears out way quicker. Well, Ginny right now is trying to figure out like where Where's did Michelle go? Mom? Michelle left and she was like, I'm she not used to mom. this. She misses her mom. I love that though, right? You want your animals to miss you. Not, not in a bad way and we'll take good care of her, but like it's really nice when, you know, you pick them up too and they're like, that's my mom and they run towards you because they've missed you. Are you spoiling that puppy there? Yes, she actually doesn't eat much in her bowl, but if you hand feed her, she eats every bite. So grandma's got time. I don't uh, Water break. Her. Water break. <laughs> and we have to put out the same exact dish because Tabitha needs one and she needs one. Otherwise, it's like, wait, are you getting something I'm not getting? Now she's like, where's my friend? Yeah, Tabitha, we feed her outside. They don't have any type of aggression towards each other, but I'm not gonna be risking anything. These two have been nonstop since Jenny got here at three o'clock. Look and at this. It's so funny. And then like they'll, each one of them will come by to just get some kisses from me and then go back to, <laughs> to play. So it's just like, I wanna know you love me and then I can go back and play. Tabitha's in her glory cause she's got a part. I think it's time to get Tabitha a playmate. Mm. I don't know about that. That way, when Jenny does come, it's like special. Tabitha, I don't know who's more excited, Tabitha or Jenny. I'm actually surprised that Tab is like keeping up with her. You know what I mean? And not just like passed out asleep. Jenny's going to go home on Monday and Tabitha's going to be down like 10 pounds. I know. That's what I'm thinking. Of course, Tabitha's like, try to move me. Just say, try to move Tabitha me. Tabitha just needs to be an anchor and just hold still. And then the only reason the she's way. moving around is to try to get the toy back from Jenny. But every once in a while, she'll just stand there and Jenny will be like, try to pull her across the room. It's like two different like species playing together. Jenny is like a little gazelle. Tabitha kind of cheated and got up on the couch and Ginny couldn't pull her around anymore. The funniest thing is that Roscoe is in Ginny's bed. Like I can't even with these dogs. And no one has noticed that she's taken, that he has taken over the bed. Okay, Ginny noticed Roscoe is in her crate. 
but she keeps going and pointing like, hey, I need to indicate there is a, there's a bird in there, but it's not a bird. It's a furry one. Jenny just realized there's a second cat in the house. Like Charity is in here. So now she's kind of like pointing. Anthony's having a hard time getting in the front door, weirdly. <laughs> Roscoe's like, yes, can I help you? I've started a small business. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Cats Are Us. Jenny's like, does that not belong to me anymore? I don't know how this works. Tab was like, yep, this belongs to her now. She's the boss. Come meet the boss. We have to make sure we keep the back door closed, even though I want to keep it open because it's cold out. Pool party. They yeah. will be instant pool party. As soon as you go near the sliding glass door, Jenny's like, there's a pool back there. I, I want to go in the pool. And chickens. Oh, that's right. Well, the chickens are sleeping now because it's dark out. So it's dinner time. We These have are not, not the eaten same. anything since breakfast. So it's late. It's like almost seven o'clock. Uh, so here's what we're eating. We've got two different kinds of hot dogs. We have one of those Teton Polish sausages. This egg though. And then this, yeah, but I did that egg so you could put it on top of your that's, chili. That's what's happening. That's why I did it that way. And it's it mostly in cooked. Yeah. Uh, and then the hot dog. These are the Costco hot dogs, the big quarter pound they hot dogs. They look like a Costco hot dog. Now, the Costco hot dogs do have a little bit of dextrose in them, but honestly, I'm not going to worry about it that much. So we've got that. I think the full Costco hot dog has like three total cards because there's lots of spices in them. Mm -hmm. uh, but these are really good. The Teton, two eggs. And then uh, yesterday, we actually made a small batch of our keto chow chili, which was just like two pounds of ground beef and a pound of pork sausage and some bacon. So this is what's left of it. That's dinner. And then to go along with dinner, um, I made some of this stuff. And as, we're actually going to have it tomorrow. Yeah. I am strangely addicted to this new red licorice keto chow it's so weird i it want to turn it into ice cream it I'm, should I'm thinking not, it's gonna be weird as ice cream but it sounds really good it doesn't should it? not be something that we love it should not be something that keeps bringing me back but it does it weirdly brings you back right for more and more sets take a step it's 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 weirdly good it is so stinking good so if you want to know what this tastes like it tastes like drinking milk through a Twizzler. Yes, it does. Right? That's what milk it tastes like. Milk through a Twizzler. And then, I can't believe I'm saying this. I don't like black licorice, but this stuff is good. It's actually really good. And I'll tell you what it tastes like. I didn't even think about it until Chris said it. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a really sweet, good and plenty candy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's not, like, good and plenty. I didn't like them too much. I actually liked one color, but not the other for some weird reason. Uh, but the they're it's sweet, but it's good, but it's not overly black licorice, but it's distinctly black licorice. I know that doesn't make any sense, yes. but I like it. I mean, at first I didn't like it the first time I tried it, and then as we were drinking it when we did like the announcement video, I'm like, this is growing on me. You keep reaching for it. And I drank the entire thing. You can't I help did yourself. finish the whole thing. So this is really good too. So I'm really excited. There's a link down below. These are, I know, extremely limited edition. I don't think they're going to have them very long. I don't but either. But they're, they're good, and I am going to be ordering a whole bunch of them just because I don't know why, but I didn't think I was going to like them, but I really like them. So, uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do, even though we say we don't want to vlog on Sunday, since we have Jenny, maybe we'll extend this into two days, at least show you what we're eating tomorrow. Take them for a nice long yes. walk when we get home from church. Multiple long walks. Play with them a little bit, and then we'll finish this one up tomorrow night. Look at how we have to sleep. <laughs> We've got Roscoe over here. I don't know where Charity is. We've got Tabitha here, and Jenny is down at the foot of the bed. Yeah, she's right there. This, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> night. At least I won't be able to like sleep on my side because there is no moving. The dogs have the entire bed. And we're going to be nice and toasty. This is the good day for it, honestly, because it is pretty cold outside. And I'm like, and, and Tab's a cover hog, as you can see. 
Like, you can't move the covers once she lays on top of it, so. And we have a tail hitting us in the head all night long. Oh, it's going my way, though. I think, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is completely normal. <laughs> Jenny misses grandma. As soon as she walked out the door, she's crying. Where did she go, Jenny? Good morning. It is Sunday morning. A little bit after seven o'clock, Rachel just left to head off to church and I'm getting ready to follow her. And, uh, Jenny is just running around the house whining. She is very upset that Rachel left. And I have a feeling she's going to do it even more when I leave because the boys are still sleeping. Uh, they'll get up in a little while to head out to church. But right now I am just sitting here at the computer uh, getting ready to go and uploading a video for our camping channel that reviews Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Hope Sound, Florida, which is about an hour and 20 minutes north of us. Uh, and while I'm here... I'm enjoying an espresso Gran Lugo. This is like basically like a four shot of espresso. They say it's inspired by like Americanos, uh, nothing in it. Uh, this has got a really, really good flavor. I'm really enjoying this one. It's pretty much like a four shot of espresso, but it's really good. So uh, I'm gonna head off to church. And when I come home, I'm gonna edit a vlog, get everything ready for keto on the couch. And I uh, got to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. I was thinking about doing a corned beef. I have a couple of corned beefs, but I'm not quite sure if I want to do that or if I want to do like uh, a pork loin. I'm thinking corned beef because it's kind of simple. I can just throw it into a pot and let it boil all day while I'm waiting for Rachel to come home. I know for most of you in the country, you're going to say I'm crazy, but it is cold. A lot of times I have to come out and start the car to get it to cool down, you know, let it run a little bit with the air conditioner. Today, I actually had to come out and get it to warm up. And unfortunately, my heated seats are broken and I have leather seats. So I know what's wrong with it. It's either the control box or it's just the wires because they intermittently come on. But I would really like to have heated seats today and they're not working. So today we're gonna make a corned beef brisket and usually I would do this in like a Dutch oven or some kind of big pot on the stovetop. but today we're gonna make it in the Instant Pot. I'm hoping the one I have is gonna fit. Uh, I may have to cut it in half. I have about a seven pound corned beef brisket that I had purchased at Costco. They were on sale for $3 a pound. So I grabbed one of these. Now, when I make my corned beef brisket, I usually use bone broth but I don't have any more beef bone broth. So what I ended up doing is I'm going to use some of this F-bomb bone broth. We bought this a while ago and I kind of use it as a backup and uh, we don't need a lot considering we're gonna do it in the Instapot so we don't need nearly as much water, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do right now. So since it's beef, butter, bacon, eggs, we're not gonna use any cabbage or onions or anything like that. So I've got three cups of water that I mixed one scoop of that F-bomb beef bone broth. That'll add a little bit of flavor. You can use water, but I like adding a little bit more beef flavor uh, using a bone broth. So unfortunately this corned beef brisket is too big for my Instant Pot. So we're gonna go ahead and just cut it in half. Now I've just taken this out of the package. Now. A lot of people like to actually rinse off the corned beef. I don't. I want to take all the juices that were in that package. So I've already dumped them into the Instant Pot. And now we have this. So we're going to go ahead and stick this right into the Instant Pot. So we'll go ahead and put this in. And now everything fits. Next thing I'm going to do is cut open the seasoning packet that came with it. And I like to use all the seasonings. I love having a lot of seasoning instead of my brisket. Probably should have dumped it in there before I put the corned beef, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the corned beef upside down to get all of the seasoning like actually into the water. Go ahead and press this down. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the top on. Make sure it's on pressure cook. Then we're gonna hit pressure cook and I'm gonna cook this for an hour and like 45 minutes. And then if I need to, I can add it back in if it's not tender enough. And that's pretty much it. We are home from church and taking the dogs for a walk. Let's go have some fun. Ginny's like super excited. And I got my tennis ball launcher. I got my tennis ball launcher. 
So we're gonna have some real fun. Jenny's just like all over the place. I know. I'm going for a walk. Tab is like, this dog's got too much energy. She's, got, she's like our gazelle. And they found the water. It's a little warmer, so I'm not so concerned. They'll dry off. I mean. Yeah. Jenny, was that good? Was that good? No, not enough. Go get it. Good job. Good girl. Jenny's like, I want it. I want it. Go get it, Tab. <laughs> Rachel's about to go for a swim. We need a long release. Good girl. Tab is set. Tab is like, where to go? Go get it, Tab. Like, and Jenny's about to jump on her. She's like, whoever brings it back and like hands it to mom is the one that like caught it. So if I can get it out of your mouth, I caught it. But look, Tab just found another one. Good job, everybody. Everybody's a winner. I think it's funny when Tabitha shakes, so does Jenny. Go get the ball. So go get it. Go, out. there you go. Good job, Tab. Good job. Good job. Good job, I Jenny. I think Tabitha needs a playmate. <laughs> Another lab? I, I was going to say, she'd almost have to do... Can somebody, we afford to feed a second lab? I was going to say, we'd have to take out a, a mortgage on our home, probably. Are they worn out? Well, we're, we're taking the stick break. <laughs> There's nothing cooler than a stick out in the wild. So we're having brisket for dinner. We're actually corned beef brisket. Yum. It's probably ready. Ooh, then I'm ready. We could go home. Light a fire in the backyard. Let them let play, them in, the play in the pool. Because the damage is done now. They're wet. Except for the good thing is these are both dogs that like the water. And they dry out they're quickly. very dry. Like you can see Jenny's not wet at all. She Tabitha's is like damp. Yeah. Well, Jenny's got really like hair. More yeah. Than a, like a traditional fur coat. And, you know, Tabitha's actually built for this cold water. I mean, she dries off quickly, but she's that multi-layer. Right. And she doesn't get it cold. protects her. Jenny was getting a little bit cold, so that's why we stopped at the park. Okay, brisket should be done with the corned beef. Uh, now, normally I would fast release this, but we took the dog for a walk. So it's slow released. So we're going to go ahead and just check it. And what I'm going to check for right now is how tender is it. So I am just going to use a little fork and see if I can pull it apart real quick. Oh yeah, that is done. We're gonna go ahead and close this back up and uh, get ready to eat dinner. So Rachel is outside in the hot tub while the dogs all play in the pool. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the corned beef, cook up a couple eggs, and we're gonna eat outside. Okay, so here is one half of the brisket that we cooked. We're gonna go ahead and slice this up now. And again, we always want to slice against the grain and wow that came out perfect you know, I, don't, I barely have to hold the meat since rachel's outside i get to do the taste test oh. i love corned beef corned beef is my absolute favorite food i mean i love brisket but I love corned beef even more because I love all of the seasoning and the flavor that comes with it. And generally when St. Patrick's Day rolls around, 
I made two corned beefs, one for everybody in the family and one for just me. So you've heard of breakfast in bed? Yeah. Today is dinner in the hot tub. I like where this is headed. Tabitha, no. I can't wait to see what you think of this corned beef. It is like fork tender. Mmm. Why do we always wait until March? I don't to know. Enjoy corned beef. I may pick up a couple more of them because they were so cheap. And, you know, like I was just saying inside, what do you prefer more, brisket or corned beef brisket? Oh, well, I mean, I I don't like the flavor of corned beef as much as you do. Oh, no. But, I need a whole corned beef just for myself. But it's delicious. Okay, here we go. Dessert time. You get the first honors. Oh, that makes me worried. Red licorice ice cream. Nuh-uh. Yes. How is it? Accurate. Can I have a taste? It is like messing with my mind though. It's really good. But that it's is just, good. But it's just like. I think it's better as an ice cream than as a shake. But it's like, what is happening? This is, that's really good. It's, it's, it's like a cross between like a cherry ice cream and a vanilla ice cream, right? It's like Twizzler made an ice cream. It's really good. We've done it. We wore him out. We have successfully worn out Ginny. I didn't think it was possible. Ginny, are you tired? I don't think I've ever seen you just lay down and do nothing. Ever. <laughs> Ginny. She's got that, I'm tired, leave me alone, and I miss my mom face, all in the same face. Can you even breathe? <laughs> Shallow breaths. Shallow breaths work. Oh my, how, how has Tabitha got, like, all on top of you? Is this a jealousy thing, or? It is, like, making it clear that she gets first hugs. <laughs> first lovings, and, and the majority of it. It's kind of funny. We always think to ourselves, she would love to have, like, you know, a brother or sister dog. I don't think so. I, I don't think she would like that. I think she enjoys a play date, but she likes knowing that, like, all of the attention is lavished on her. She eats loud. She does. This is a great day for leftovers, let me tell you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we decided to just finish out the vlog With from breakfast. the weekend. Today, because we don't generally vlog on the weekend, and we were just enjoying each other, our puppy, and uh, <laughs> the cold weather. Very nice. Brisket last night was amazing. I shouldn't call it brisket. It's corned beef, but it is brisket. But one of the best things about corned beef leftovers. is leftovers to make corned beef and eggs. Mm. So today I have uh, a bunch of eggs. Talk Rambled. about flavoring it up. And I have a lot of brisket left over, so I'll be eating brisket for lunch. Yeah. Today's the last day of beef, butter, bacon, egg, and keto chow. What are your thoughts about that? Um, it was good. I'm glad we got through the month. Definitely had some cravings for chicken wings and the last couple days, but I think this is like the whenever a challenge is coming to an end, whether it be a food challenge or you're on a fast. When you get to those last couple of hours, you're like, I don't know if I could make it. And last night I was just like, I would really like a piece of chocolate right now. Really? I was thinking yesterday, I would really like um, sauerkraut with a hot dog. I would really like a pickle with mm -hmm. a burger. And I have not felt that way the entire month. So right. yeah, I think you're completely right. when you right. get to that end. As you see the finish line in sight. So what we have here is two and a half eggs a piece. What do I mean by two and a half? I used a couple of those, the, the eggs, the green eggs that we get from the chickens in the backyard. And they're tiny. They're they're like, I would say small to medium, whereas we usually buy large to extra large. Like the the all of the other chickens, the red star chickens that we have, they lay fairly large eggs. Mm -hmm. I would say that most stores would call them like an extra large. But the Easter eggers lay a smaller egg, not as small as like a quail egg. 
but definitely a lot smaller than the other ones. They're trying. We appreciate their effort. Yeah. So, and I don't, since they've been laying for a while now, I don't know if they're going to get a lot bigger. I think yeah. we're just really used to those large eggs from the red stars. So that's something to keep in mind if you're interested in beginning a backyard flock of your own and you're thinking, I want a good temperament chicken mm -hmm. that is a consistent layer and lays a good size egg. I highly recommend the Red Stars. They, yeah. they actually have a lot of names. I think it's like the Golden Comet. Comets. There's a lot of different names, but basically what they are is they're a cross between two different types of chicken. One that is really hearty and one that- Friendly. Is friendly, and but then also one that lays a lot of eggs, like the Rhode Island Reds. And you can't reproduce them on your own. You no. have to get them from one the hatchery one. because if you try to reproduce them you're watering it down now instead of having a 50 50 you're gonna have like uh you know 75 25 right but they're really prolific layers right um i think that on average they say they lay about 300 to 320 eggs a year which I, is a lot and i would say accurate now i know that we live in like the optimal setting because it doesn't get super cold here so we have a lot more down. right we have a lot more weeks where they're not slowing down but i also think that they're a very friendly chicken I they're not loud I, they're not loud at all they're not very talky they're not flighty they're not like jumping up on top of high heights and trying to roost because they're afraid. Right. So, um, yeah, I really highly recommend it. Yeah, them. the black one that we have that's an Easter egg, and I don't remember what breed that is because they were sent to us by a subscriber. Yeah. Um, she's a great chicken, mm -hmm. but she's a little flighty, like she's a little scared. Uh, some of that has to do with the fact that we didn't hand raise them for their entire like baby years because we had gotten sick. So right. we had them for like three weeks and where we were on them every day. And then there were like four weeks where it was like, hey guys, but we weren't playing with them a lot. But she's very loud. Like she's like in the morning, she's very loud. Like it worries me that neighbors are gonna complain. She's exactly. almost as loud as a rooster. Right, so that's something to consider depending on where you live, mm -hmm. right? So hopefully we can save some people some frustration if just getting the right chicken breed, you're like, isn't a chicken a chicken? No, they're not. No, I would definitely, when we have to get more chickens, uh, I would definitely be going with like the red stars. Yeah. It's cool to have the different colored eggs, but I want large eggs. Listen, right. I want chick. They're not pets for me. They're providing me with food. It's nice that they're friendly though. It is nice that they're friendly because if I need to get them, like yesterday we had Jenny and we were in the backyard and she's a bird dog. And so if I just let them run around free, she just chases them. At one point, one of them actually jumped up. I don't even know how he did it. Got over our six foot fence. Mm -hmm. Just like flew because they got so scared. And Jenny, I'm afraid Jenny's gonna run through the screen. So I'm able to very quickly just gather them up and put them all in the hen house. And all of the red star ones, hello Good morning, Charity. Charity. Uh, all of the red star ones, like literally you just walk out there and they come right up to you and you can pick them up. Yeah. Not the case with the Easter Eggers. The Easter Eggers, it's a little bit of a rocky scene where you got to chase them a little bit. Right. Um, so yeah, so we have eggs and then a bunch of corned beef. I still have more leftover corned beef. And then coffee, I want to see if you can nail this flavor. I thought this was going to be, I, I really figured this was going to bring a ring, really interesting note to it. So the coffee is the entire pot of coffee with a tablespoon of butter. Now with the eggs, what I did was, I put the eggs in the Vitamix to, to do the scramble, and I put that on the electric Blackstone, and then I don't rinse it out. I put the coffee in there, so whatever egg happens to be like lining the black, the uh, Vitamix, that's in there as well. And then I have a half a scoop of a keto chow. Can you nail the flavor? There's a lot of pressure on me right now to get this right. I'm going to guess, let me take one more sip. There's kind of, I want to say like a, a fruity note to it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to totally go out on a limb and say raspberry cheesecake. It is. Yay, Rachel. <laughs> Doesn't it add a, a nice, it does. I thought about adding the red licorice, but I'm like, I don't know if that would work. It works as ice cream. I don't know if it was going to work in our coffee. It was wild as ice cream. It's really freaky. We had Caleb try it too. And he's like, dude, this so is Caleb's like, I don't know how I feel about this. He was like, at first I feel like NyQuil. And then I'm like, I want more. <laughs> right. It's, it's, it's really interesting. How did you accomplish that? I that really I'm both like, like what? And then yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, uh, so coffee, eggs, we're gonna do keto on the couch in a little while, so we're gonna end the vlog right here. Um, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we've linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we have delicious leftovers for breakfast, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.